Hey, hi guys, so welcome to PCF. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, what is data warehouse. Okay, and also I am going to create the playlist for the data warehouse. What is fact table, what is dimension table, star schema, snow pro schema. So what is OLAP, OLTP and, and all. So before going to that, so I'm going to give a very easy explanation about the data warehouse, so even common terms, like what is data warehouse. So before going to that, okay, before going to uh, learn the data warehouse, first of all, uh, we'll learn what is warehouse. Okay, so let's take an example, guys. Okay, let's take an example, Amazon. Okay, Amazon will have the warehouse in a different, different locations. Okay, if you order something in uh, Amazon, okay, if you order something in Amazon, it will deliver from the warehouse where it is located nearby you. So it will take the so warehouse means simply warehouse means simple uh, definition is that it's a collection of different kind of data it's a collection of a different kind of data is called a warehouse okay even even in general life one more example like so in your home also you will have one data warehouse like storage room is called as a data warehouse for your house okay so so we'll come to the uh, main point data warehouse. Data, data warehouse. What is data warehouse? Data warehouse will take the different different application data, RHR data, sales data, and uh, files data, and then it will load into the um, ETL operations. Before going to that, there is a ETL operations. Okay, so like so, it will be in four stages. Okay, it will be in four stages. The first stage will be so collect the data, and then second store will be uh, second stage will be store the data, and then the third stage will be analyze the data. Fourth stage will be so consume the data. Okay. So collect, store, analyze, and consume. Four stages of data. So collect means like, so it will take the different applications data and then first of all, it will store into in staging area like this. Okay. So store, storing, storing area like this. Okay. ETL. So ETL, different, different kind of ETL tools are there. Like suppose SSIS, Informatica and different, different kind of ETL tools are there. So they will collect the data and then they will store into uh, uh, storage area. Then after it will clean and then it will apply the transformation, then load into the data warehouse. Okay. It will apply the transformation. It will clean the data and then it will store into data warehouse. Okay. So that is the collection. And then after storing, after storing, Okay, data after storing. So you want to analyze. Analyze means suppose um, like so. Who are uh, so suppose take employee data, and then who are performing better? Uh, like so, last one year. So how are who are uh, you know um, cross the target and then uh, then the perform cross the target or below target. If you want to see, so you have to connect the different dimensions and then give the summary data and then create a report. Okay, this is a kind of, you know, um, storage. Okay, after storing the data, we'll analyze. And for analyze the purpose, okay, um, like, so if you take the employee data, who are performed last one year, who are performed, who are reached the target and who are not reached the target and all. So we'll uh, go with the different kind of dimensions and then we'll create the relationship between them. And then we apply the summary data and then we'll create a, a report for that. So from there, end user can, consume can use that report so this is about the consume and then there are four char uh, characteristics of uh, you know data warehouse like uh, so we have four types of characteristics one is uh, like uh, integrated and time variant non volatile and subject oriented what is integrated what is uh, time variant and what is non volatile we'll, i will give uh, simple examples and then diagrams guys okay so that you will understand so char characteristics, first characteristics, uh, integrate, integrated means what? So it's a collection of data and it will, integrated means what? It's taking the different, different data into one area. So that is means uh, integrated. Like we have a saving data, uh, checking accounts and then loans if you take the bank data. So that will store in one area that is called integrated. Okay, we are combining into one area we are combining into one area that is called integrated and then next one time variant time variant means like suppose 
if you load historical data like suppose last five years how the business is going on last 10 years and then if you want to see the historical data and then uh, if you want to find out like how my sales uh, growth is growing on compared to last five years okay compared to last two years how the my sales percentage is growing or down going down how the profits and then last everything if you want to see in the time uh, time period wise like even month wise or day wise or uh, years wise so then you can go with uh, so that will tell you the uh, details about the time variant time variant means so the like which time you want to which quarterly you want to compare or yearly or monthly so how the way you want to uh, compare so for that purpose we'll go with the time variant and then the uh, third one is subject oriented subject oriented means okay so order data uh, consumer loans and customer billings and then account uh, uh, receivable and clients and then saving data all will be so each one is a one subject right each one is a one subject and then so data warehouse will store as a subject device okay it will store the data and then it will uh, uh, differ okay so each subject data will be stored in a different different um, you know um, subject wise okay so subject wise it will collect the different uh, you know uh, different sources and then so the data is belongs to if it is belongs to uh, products it will be belongs to product and if it is belongs to accounts and it will store it in accounts if it is belongs to policy it will store in the policy if it is belongs to clients it will store in a client so that means so it will be uh, stored is as a subject oriented okay so it is collecting in a different different uh, you know sources and then it will store the data as a subject oriented so that is the third one and then fourth one is a non volatile non volatile means so whatever the oltp and like whatever the source data you have so that you can read and add or you can change so that is our um, um, you know operational system application so here you can do everything but once you load the data into data warehouse you can only read the data okay you cannot you know you cannot delete or you cannot update you cannot um, change anything okay so that are the those are the four characters stuff data warehouse data warehouse is very simple guys okay don't think too much behind what is data warehouse and all so data warehouse is nothing but a it's a collection of different kind of data it will store the data in a systematic order and then also it will give the like whatever the time format you want to filter the data you can filter the data but once you load the data history you cannot change okay you cannot delete the history you cannot update the history you cannot you know read the history but you can insert, you can insert the data okay so like uh, once you order and you return and then so like and it shipped so that is history right so like if you uh, you know uh, return uh, returned you return whatever you booked you return right so the date and everything will be stored as a transaction so that transaction you cannot uh, change it after you no know, uh, one year okay so that is the history that's that's happened that is a fast that's happened you cannot edit that so that is the data warehouse data warehouse means it will store the historical data so hope you understand what is there data warehouse i i was try to you know simplify as much as possible guys okay so hope you like the video so if you watch uh, my video first time uh, please uh, subscribe my channel guys okay thank you so much thanks for your support thank you bye bye have a great day